Okay, everybody, now that we've mastered finding the end of our yarn, um, we are going to get started with the actual crochet part. The first thing that we need to do is connect our string or our yarn to our crochet hook. And we do that by making a slip knot. A slip knot is a, a form of a knot that, that moves along the length of your string. Um, and so it can be tight or loose, which is how we want it to be when we're doing crocheting. So uh, we're going to start, I'm going to use this green um, thread here. What I'm going to, what I'm going to do is uh, make a, a washcloth. And I've decided that I want that to be out of my green cotton. Um, and so I found the end of my green cotton yarn. I'm going to use my size I or 5.5 um, millimeter crochet hook. You're going to use what you have at your house and we're going to make an, a slip knot. So the first thing we need to do is make a circle. Uh, we're going to make a circle and I do that by using about the length of my hand from my wrist to my in, to my the top of my finger. So I'm going to leave that that's going to call that's what I'm going to call your tail. So that's about my tail length. I'm going to hold it here with my finger and thumb. I'm going to wrap it around my hand until I get back to my finger and thumb and then I'm going to pinch right there. So I'm holding on to my tail and my skein yarn, okay? What we're gonna do then is we're gonna take our skein yarn and kind of push it through the middle of where uh, that loop goes. See that circle that goes around my hand there? I'm gonna push that through here and pull it up. So I'm actually pulling up on that skein yarn, right? So I've uh, made the loop, holding on with my finger and my thumb. I'm gonna wrap it around my hand until I get back here to my finger and my, my finger and thumb and I'm gonna pinch both of them, and let go. Then what I'm gonna do is grab my skein yarn and push it up between, my, in between that loop right there until I have it right in the middle there. Got that? Then I'm gonna let go of all things and I'm going to pull up on the ski, on the, on the loop that I made here and right there in front of you is your yarn, your yarn or your slip knot. I've got my tail, I've got my skein yarn and to get that not to be such a big loop right here, what we're gonna do is this is the slip part. We're gonna pull on the skein side while keeping my thumb up here. I'm gonna pull on the skein side and you'll see that knot sliding up towards my finger, right? That's the slip knot, isn't that cool? Uh, and then all we have to do is put our hook into that loop. And again, pulling on that skein side, you'll see the tail is still hanging there. We're gonna pull on that skein side there until we get it up to our up to our hook. Now we don't want that to be too tight. Uh, one of the biggest problems that I have as, as a crocheter is that I make that knot too tight to my hook. I need to be sure that it slides nice and easy. All right. So I'm going to show you a different angle of how you can make that knot if that was if, 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 uh, kind of as another way. The beautiful thing about slip knots, everybody, is that you can undo them. I just lifted off my hook and I can pull on both the skein side and the tail side and the knot goes away like a magic almost. Um, I'm gonna show you one more angle of how to make that slip knot. So again, I have my tail and I have my skein side. Um, what I'm gonna do is this is my, my, my left hand here and my left hand, I'm going to kind of put the tail facing uh, towards my right arm. So this is my left hand, right arm. And I'm gonna make, my, make a loop here on the table. So it kind of looks like a ribbon. We're just gonna make a loop here, tail end crossed over with the skein end. And there I'm going to use my left hand index finger and push down, like if you were tying a present, like a bow on a present and you wanted it really tight, you'd put your finger down there. So I'm gonna do that here and push really tight. Again, my tail end, my skein end. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up that, um, pick up that, that loop, and going from front to back, grab the skein end and pull up. And then I'll pull my strings down and I've made a, the, the same kind of knot that we made just a second ago, but on a table. And I can do the same thing. I can move that knot up and down um, by pulling on, this, on the skein side of my yarn. I'll show you that one more time and then I'll give you some time to practice making slip knots. All right, so again, we're gonna make our ribbon. We'll make a loop, cross it over, push down with our finger, 
lift up, grab the string and pull up there from the skein side, let go and pull down. And there is our slip knot. And once again, from here, you would put your hook inside of your loop, pull on your skein side, and up that knot will go right up to the top of your hook. Again, that's it moves nice and smoothly up and down the length of your crochet hook. So why don't you guys practice getting your slip knots on? And when you are ready, come back for the third video where we're gonna learn the very basic first stitch called a chain.